local weather authority. Always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Good afternoon, everyone. Staying fairly dry for now, but there's rain right to the west of us. It's going to head our direction, bring some storms through the afternoon. Now we do have a little bit of extra cloud cover from the highlands down towards the NRV with Phil at 82, hot springs at 77 because of those clouds. Meanwhile, further towards the east, temperatures are in the mid to upper 80s, South Boston 87, Lynchburg 89. There is cooler weather towards Indianapolis, Chicago into Minneapolis, and then it gets hot in the plains because the cold front slides down towards Memphis and then takes a northeasterly turn. That's where we're seeing the rainfall right now. The front's kind of stalled out, so it's not moving anywhere. We're mostly bringing on air from the Atlantic, which isn't extremely hot. We're not getting the 90s that they've got in Texas, but we are going to see high temperatures around 90 degrees consistently, like what we saw yesterday and really through a lot of this week. Throughout the, really the rest of the day into Saturday. The warm air coming from the ocean is fighting that cooler air coming in from Chicago, Indianapolis towards our direction, and they can't really move. And so because there's so much moisture in the air, it's able to get forced up by those fronts and turn into afternoon showers and storms. By 2 p.m., our showers are pretty widespread. South side sees a little bit extra dry, but between especially 3 and 7, we've got our chances for storms. That starts to ease off by eight around nine o'clock. There's some heavy rain left over, but a lot of it is moving off towards the east at that point. Saturday morning we stay dry again by two, three o'clock. We've got showers, storms come in the afternoon. I think we might technically have more storms today than we've got tomorrow, but they're going to be pretty similar. Rainfall to take you zone by zone for today is mostly going to stack up towards a half inch in Lynchburg and everywhere else get a little bit less than that. Roanoke at 0.4, so not a huge difference. Highlands and New River Valley both at two tenths of an inch and south side getting two point three. Now, as far as the Storm Prediction Center's uh, severe weather outlook, it's got our region in the level one marginal risk for storms today, but tomorrow we're not really in that same risk zone, even though we do have some more storms coming in the afternoon. And then uh, for the weekend, we're not looking at a whole lot of storms either. Once we get past Saturday and Sunday, we're going to have a pretty calm start to the week before another round of storms comes through at the middle of next week. Overnight, our temperatures are back around 70. Uh, again, that's basically what they've been for the last month or so. Hillsville at 65, Rocky Mount at 70, Lexington at 70. And then tomorrow we'll have high temperatures getting to around 90 degrees. 80 and Floyd for one of the cooler ones. Roanoke at 87, Lynchburg at 90. Most of our temperatures are going to hang out around 90 degrees consistently into the start of next week. Storm chances go down as that front starts to lift up towards the northeast. We still have highs around 90. We don't really get cooler air in until the middle of next week. That's when our weather actually starts to take a change. That cold front is going to bring some extra storms like they tend to do, but behind it, we do get some cooler, drier air. Not a huge change, but we've been consistently above average, so a tiny bit below average, I'll take it. At this yeah, point. that sounds pretty good. <laughs> it has been just so hot and humid recently. Yeah, and we get a little bit of a break from the humidity for the middle of next week, but really the back half of that is going to feel more comfortable. All right, thank you, Marshall.